That's the last rune stone. Oh, finally. All right, you're up, Noct. This is it. The power of the storm. Eh, I expected more fire and brimstone. Some gods are friendlier than others, I guess. But not all of them. Poor Luna. Perhaps you'd better console her in person. Just a boat right away. Lose that scowl along the way. Well, deal. Guess Rama finally got sick of showers. Up there! It's huge! Uh, way bigger than the last one we saw! Yeah? Hey, Highness. About your car. Yeah? Well, I found her, but she's at a base. Oh. Now, I can handle garage folk, no problem. But sweet talk in the Empire? That'll take some doing. Don't worry about it. Yeah? We'll figure it out. You sure about that? Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Later. Who was that? Cindy. What? You can't talk to her like that. Yeah, I can. I just did. And did she have any choice words for you? Yeah. The Regalia's at an Imperial base. Oh, boy. Guess that just leaves one question. When do we retrieve her? I'd say now. This is nothing more than conjecture, but I suspect that ship was due to arrive far earlier. The thunder and lightning must have slowed it down. There's a ch so They intend to transport the regalia back to Niflheim. We ought to thank the Thunder God for buying us some time. But that time is running out. Yeah, let's run in and ride off. Thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Hm. Well, here we are. Yeah. This sounds like you're having fun. Easy now. Overhead!
you kidding me? Temper, temper. Let's go. So knocked. Right now you're still gathering your powers, but what do you do once you've found them all? The calling is only a set of guiding principles. Well, hopefully it'll guide him into taking down the Empire once and for all. Yeah, like the sound of that. Beautiful day. Indeed. Some kind of fortress. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old wall. And the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Thanks for the ride. Nice riding with you. Sleeping out under the stars tonight. This place was crawling with nasties. That's boss. Come now, it's nothing special. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. So 
Any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right, we're gonna get our wheels back. Our goal is the Regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three, two, one. Form. Keep it up. Stop. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. to the shadows. Right. Target the blind spot. One hit, one kill. for you. This what's powering the base? A Magitek generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. I say we wreck it. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. Not a sound. You'll allow the anime. Got it.
That's how it's done. Oh yeah, like a boss. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear a path for the Regalia.
Her base is their game. Hold nothing back. The havoc keeps the enemy off balance. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. Piece of cake, huh? <laughs> this part is. 
Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Uh, there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, <clears throat> all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the Chosen King. Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, <laughs> I command. The King's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. <laughs> Go, let's do it. Should the chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravus Nox Fleuray, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. At long last, the Imperial blockades of Disgaean roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. <laughs> <laughs>